Ten years ago, when I was in the circus, I noticed something kind of peculiar. And it was strange because it didn't involve flipping or flying, and it didn't involve extraordinary strength or speed. It didn't appear to involve much at all. This guy just had a pair of socks with weight in the end, and he was spinning them in circles around his body. Curiosity led me to try, and the second I felt that thing orbiting around me, I was hooked. So what am I talking about? It's called poi, and the whole world practices it, from the Maori poi of New Zealand to poi that are on fire to those unimpressive socks. And the reason I'm here is because even though a lot of people practice poi, nobody is researching the effects of poi on health, and I believe there's a very good reason we should be. I'm conducting a randomized control trial with healthy adults over 60 to actually measure the effects of poi on physical and cognitive function. Now, even if you're not over 60, and even if you can't imagine twirling a sock around you, this research concerns you. Why? Because you're getting old. But don't worry, you're not alone. Globally, the number of people over 60 is expected to more than double in the next 30 years. We're living longer, but we don't necessarily have a good quality of life in our later years, and simple and effective strategies for maintaining health in old age are urgently needed. So how much can a spinning sock help? Well, participants in my study were randomly allocated to either the POI group or a comparison group. And after one month of training, participants in the POI group saw trends of improvement in their upper limb range of motion, grip strength, and manual dexterity. Keeping these areas fit can be the difference between your independence and a nursing home. Loss of flexibility in your upper limb makes it hard to reach for objects or get dressed. And loss of strength and dexterity in your hand makes it hard to carry bags or hold on to a railing, which in turn can leave you more prone to a serious fall. And similar to activities such as Tai Chi, which is my comparison group, poi also has a cognitive dimension. And the brain is like the body in that if you don't use it, you lose it. Participants in both groups reported improved focus, attention, and a clear headspace after their practice. This is consistent with previous research on Tai Chi, but the exciting new discovery is that poi is just as effective. And the best part of all, poi is fun. When something's fun, you just want to do it. There's no better way to keep the mind and body fit than doing something you enjoy. I envision poi in every nursing home, in every hospital. I envision it in your home because it's fun, it's affordable, and it engages both the mind and the body. Older adults are going to outnumber youth for the first time in history. Do you want to spend the last years of your life in poor health, or do you want to spin your quality of life around? Literally. Thank you.